New Year! Yeah! May all your wishes come true. Welcome to this year's Times New Year. This is the Year of the Rabbit. We have a great show for you. Year of the Rabbit, wow. From Belmar's very own Triple Green. How was it? Love their Chinese food. Yeah. They're the best, right? Thank them for uh, putting on a, a good uh, food service for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a great performance tonight, Chinese dancers from the Mayan Performance Group. They'll be coming here to perform for us shortly. And uh, we also have some activities for the kids over, over there if they want to uh, partake in that too. Um, before we begin tonight's uh, event, I would just want to uh, uh, call out some people. I want to thank our mayor, Jerry Bacofusco, over here. And our council members, Maria Rondelau and Jody Kinney. Over here. There they are. There they are. Thank you for coming tonight. And I also want to thank those that helped make this whole event possible. Beginning with the Board of Library and Trustees, uh, Shannon Russell-Bauer, the president of the board. Pat Hutchinson, Johanna Robinson, Michael Shepard, and Bruce Platner are all here. Raise your hand, show everybody where you are. Thank you so much. And last but not least, I do, I do want to thank my wonderful co-staff uh, and library assistants here with me tonight. Uh, Patty Fognell, Connie Nolan, Lorraine Walsh, Jackie Gibbons, David Capoli, Thank you. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. You are the reason why Belmont Public Library is served and to entjoy the people tonight. Thank you so much. And thank you for your great ministry. That's fair. The library offers you many programs and activities as well as uh, space for you to come and do things you need to do, namely to browse, to work, to study, and to learn. So visit our website. If you get a chance, check out all the programs and services we've got going on. We've got more events like this coming later this year. So this is the year of the rabbit. Okay? Year and the rabbit. so let's start by figuring out who's a rabbit. <laughs> if you were born, do they have this every year? Yeah, I think so. We should cover next year. You're a tiger. 1939. You're a tiger. I'm 1951. a dog. 1951. I'm a tiger. You're a tiger. 1963. 1975. 1987. 1999. 2011. And of course, 2023. You are a rabbit. Rabbits, raise your hands. I'm a rabbit. Are you going to attach the other leg? We have a little uh, packet for rabbits. Are you going to attach it? Oh. Little, uh, 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 gets a uh, pack of bunny peeps. Uh, so, uh, that's the rabbit. Are you going to attach it? Yeah. So, if you're going to it, I am. If you're a rabbit, come on up. Let me know. I'm going to have a bag for you right now. So, I'm a tiger. Who's a rabbit? Uh, yeah, I'm a dog. You got a rabbit coat? Yeah. 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 Are they gonna call up tigers? No. <laughs> Only the rabbit, because this is just your rabbit. Oh. You got a rabbit over there? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Put in your face on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I was a rabbit. And what is next year's going to be? What's that? Last year was a tiger. No, you can stand wait, 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 actually? Uh, last year was the year of a tiger? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
Thank you much, sir. Any more rice? Quiet. Bellingham. Huh? Oh, what? On camera, bogus. His camera's not focusing. Find and patience. So, there you are, right? That's what you are. And if you are around, you are a good company. Some famous talent. Albert Einstein. Michael Jordan. David Beckham and Lionel Messi. Bring yourself a So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off. You're the rabbit. You're the rabbit. Who are you? I want to watch this. I want to watch this video. I want to watch this video. Okay. 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 Story of the Chinese New Year. Should you go up there and watch it? The Great Race, the story of Chinese New Year. Many, many years ago in China, there lived an important man known as the Jade Emperor. It was his birthday and he wanted to know how old he was. He decided that there needed to be a way to measure time. He called all of the animals and told them that there was to be a great race it would be a swimming race. The first 12 animals to complete the race would be the winners, and they would each get a year of the zodiac named after them. All of the animals got into position along the riverbank. The rat and the cat were not good swimmers and were very worried about the race. Then they noticed the big strong ox standing nearby, and as they were very clever, asked, Ox, would you be so kind as to take us across the river with you? Of course, answered the good-hearted ox. Just climb onto my back and I'll take you safely across. The rat and the cat jumped up onto the ox's back and they began to make their way across the river. They were quite excited to see that the ox was leading the race. Just as they were about to reach the other side, the cheeky rat pushed the cat into the water, then jumped from the ox's back onto his head and leapt from his head onto the riverbank. Well done, cried the Jade Emperor to the brazen rodent. You are the first to cross the river. I shall name the first year of the Zodiac after you, rat. The poor kind ox had been cheated out of first place so the second year of the Zodiac was named after him. Shortly after, the tiger arrived panting at the riverbank. That's me! He took third place. Next to arrive was the rabbit. Ah, now, the rabbit couldn't actually swim, but he was very clever and had managed to make it across the river by hopping on some stepping stones. When he could no longer find any stones to jump from, he leapt onto a passing log and let the log carry him the rest of the way. The Jade Emperor was so impressed with the rabbit's quick thinking that he named the fourth year of the Zodiac after him. Just then, a dragon swooped in. Why are you late, dragon, when you can fly? Asked the Jade Emperor, puzzled. Well, answered the kind dragon, I could see that some of my competitors were thirsty. So I had to stop to make some rain for them to drink. Then I noticed the rabbit perched on a log in the water. So I blew a big puff of wind to help him along his way to the shore. That was certainly very kind of you, said the Jade Emperor, clearly impressed. I will name the fifth year of the Zodiac after you. 
The Jade Emperor then lifted his head. He could hear a noise. It was the sound of a horse's whinny. Just as he was about to name the sick zodiac year after the horse, a sly snake wrapped itself around the horse's hooves. This caused the horse to stop and struggle, allowing for the snake to slither ahead and claim sixth place. The poor horse took seventh place. Promptly, a raft drew up, carrying a goat, a monkey and a rooster. They explained to the emperor that they had sailed together. The rooster had found the raft and the goat and monkey had cleared the tangled weeds from it so that they could sail the raft to shore. The emperor was impressed with their teamwork. I shall name the eighth year of the zodiac after the goat, he proclaimed. The ninth will be named after the monkey and the tenth will be the year of the rooster, he said. The next animal to come along was the dog. The Jade Emperor was surprised at his late arrival. Why are you here so late when you're such a good swimmer? He asked the dog. The water in the river was so fresh and clean that I stopped to enjoy a bath, answered the dog honestly. Well, you take 11th place, said the Jade Emperor. So the 11th year of the Zodiac will be named after you. Now there was just one place left in the zodiac calendar and the Jade Emperor was extremely curious as to which animal would arrive next. Finally he heard a snort from the pig. You took a long time, said the Jade Emperor. I had to stop to eat because I felt hungry, answered the pig. I also had a little sleep because my tummy was so full after the meal that I felt tired. You still managed to do well, said the Emperor. You've come in twelfth, so the twelfth year of the Zodiac will be named after you, pig. The poor cat, who had been pushed into the water by the cheeky rat, finally managed to make it to dry land and claw his way out. Sadly, he was too late to have a year of the Zodiac named after him. He was extremely cross with the rat. To this day, cats and rats have never been friends. From that day until now, the Chinese zodiac has followed the cycle of years, named after the 12 winners of the great race. Wasn't that a great story? Yeah. The thing is that my, at my dad, I like a rat and a okay, cat, and so. they're actually friends. I'd like to introduce to you Miss Cynthia Liu of the Ma Yang Dance Performance Group, and she will guide us through tonight's entertainment. So, everyone, give a hand of applause for Miss Cynthia Liu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Let's not wait. We start right now. Okay. All right, let's give a round of applause. First, I'd like to introduce a Chinese special instrument. So I'd like to bring our professional instrument player, uh, Mr. Maja, to show you instrument first before we play that. This uh, instrument is from a very special province. They look like triangles. They make a very different sound. So today, he will play this for you, and you tell me later how does it sound like, if you like it or enjoy it. So first, oh, by the way, this one is called uh, Tao Di. I think in English it's called, um, if I pronounce wrong, Ocarina. I, I checked. Yeah, okay, I checked the English, I checked the Google. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't sure what the English call. Okay, all three now. Okay, so let's give a round of applause. Let's start. I'm sorry, Louis. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Party 人员。How do you like? You like Chinese dance? Those fans are interesting. Look at that. I have another fan. I brought another Chinese fan dance for you. All right, give a round of applause to me. Thank you. Next is mine. And well dance for everyone. And also, He Tang Yue Se.
Okay, so next, I would like to invite. Oh, I like to invite our uh, professional instrument player, Mr. Maja, to introduce another instrument. All right. This one is very uh, interesting. It's from Yunnan province. So what does it look like? The top. No, not A core. I don't think it's A core. Squatch. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a squash. But but what they do is that in China we using them to put a wine there. So it's a contained wine. So if you see someone take that, yeah. So it's a drunk drinking. So that's for that. But then they use that uh, develop into a instrument. And right now it's a. Uh, um, Right, it's called gourd flute. G O U R D flute. If I pronounce it right, that's how I spell it. I know. <laughs> so, um, okay, so let's uh, hear it. This. All right, let's uh, listen to the sound first. Okay, all right. So he wanted to introduce the sound first. Yeah, it's a uh, you know uh, Yunnan province. Okay, more like. Uh, uh, I don't know if you, there's a type of dance, is it like this, has a peacocks? Right, goes from there. So they're dancing like this. Yeah, peacocks. So that was the type of music. All right, maybe you want to start? Okay.
costume if you pay attention to. Right, the dance you just present is the sleeves is very long. Right, the looks is Song Dynasty. So that the, the dress I have is is a um, it's a more modernized dress. So this one on the top is a traditional. So I put them two together. <laughs> so, um, all right. So let's give a round of applause for the next dancer. And she will dance Mongolia, yes. All right. And give a round of applause. Thank you.